began. Southgate to the pits room. Train five, now boarding track 28. Thank you, ma'am. Trains five, 25 and 35 are boarding from the South Concourse, gate C, track 28. Only ticketed passengers are permitted being on the boarding platform. And
Engines are working. Approach again. Approach. That form B is dead, John. Diverging clear. There's a mark on the platform where you can spot the night car. Okay, I'm switching to the BN channel. What's that? That's Sears Tower. That black building with a white. Beanie Green housing project where they've had all that problem where the mayor lived for a while. Right. That Jane Byrne when she was mayor. Well that's the Beanie Green. Can I get you to tell me your name and how you spell it? Okay, my name is Wally Prince, P-R-I-N-C-E. Yeah. Amtrak. Where are we going today, Wally? We're going, we're going to Galesburg, Illinois. Yeah, I got you. Where's this train go? I mean, can you try to just give me a... This is three trains. It's the California Zephyr, the Desert Wind, and the Pioneer. The Pioneer goes to Portland, Seattle. The California Zephyr goes to Oakland by way of Reno, Sacramento. And the Desert Wind goes to L.A. by way of Las Vegas. How long have you been doing this? Well, I've been working uh, on and off for this train for about 33 years. Wow. I worked for the Burlington Northern, formerly the CB&Q. I hired out in 1959, and I was a fireman on this train then, and now I'm the engineer. So how does it feel to swept through the ranks like that? Well, it's just a job. So what do you think? How hard is it to get... Uh when you get down on the open area. Well, a lot of times this is a pretty, a lot of times this is a pretty congested area because of all the commuters and freight and everything else coming into here because of Chicago's heavy passenger services, commuters and, and Amtrak and uh, everything else. This, we're 70 mile an hour right here. We're going 70 right now? We're going right at 70. Oh. And that's the track speed. Yeah, that's the damn track 1,005, over. Okay, who you got for a crew today? Uh, engineer is Prince. Conductor is Kemp. We got the 352, the 264, 17 cars on duty at 720. Trend for 720, 352, 264, 17 cars, thank you. Roger, Amtrak 1005 out. That's your So, okay, now, 
try to explain this to me a little bit. We're, we're, we're starting on a pretty big adventure here. These people are anyway, you know, the people in the back. Right. You're transporting. How's it, do you, do you get any kind of uh, entertainment or any, uh, any kind of good feelings about starting these people on a tour like this? No, I like to, I like to be able to leave and arrive on time and, and get everybody there and safe and nothing, you know, nothing unusual to happen like wreck or hitting anything or anything. But these guys are going on a big old adventure. What, what are they going to see? Well, you get out through the city and then you'll see some nice country going through Illinois and through Iowa. They're going to see a lot of cornfields and then they go across the Mississippi River there at Burlington. They cross the Missouri River and get into Nebraska. And then when they go through the Rocky Mountains, why? That's a good deal because I've taken that trip myself. Uh, we got a 60 mile an hour through a freight crossing here at Cicero. Hi, Green. This is the Burlington Northern Freight Yards here at uh, Cicero. So you got a pretty, you're like kind of like a tour guide, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up around the head end, you see everything. Everybody has their own distinctive sound, huh? Well, you, for the, I just whistled at that guy there to let him know he's coming at him. But you, for the crossings, you got a, you got a standard whistle. You too long to shorten the long, and you got to blow for the crossings. That's a federal regulation. So, you now engineers are all federal licensed now. Clear. Clear. Our first stop will be Naperville. Do so you get pretty good satisfaction out of this whole deal? Yeah, and I get pretty good pay. I noticed it puts a smile on your face, huh? Yeah, but I've been doing it a long time. How much longer you got left before retirement? Uh, I'm going to retire when I'm 62. Uh, I'm 55 years old now. Are you going to miss it? Uh, I don't think so. I'll probably miss a little, but I got a lot of stuff I got to do when I go out of retirement. <laughs> now, we don't blow a whistle at the crossings in the suburbs because it's uh, against the ordinance and it's in the special instruction. So, all we do is ring the bell. Only time we blow the whistle is if we see somebody get, getting out in our way where we might hit them. Clear. Anything else you want to tell me about this trip that I should know about? Oh, we're going to be late into Galesburg because we left Chicago late. Well, they say you don't set your alarm, set your timer, set your watch by a train, but... Oh, you can some trains. Uh, Illinois Hill pretty well runs on time. As far as I know they are. We got approach medium. Sure enough, one is ready to give me You always live and everything? Oh yeah, there's a lot of people comes out and waves at the train regularly. Yeah, I can't see that signal. Can you, Jonathan? No, I can't see it yet. Uh, bottom of the flat. I can't see you think when you see these people coming out and waving at you? Oh, you always want to wave back if you can. That makes people happy. Well, it seems like you guys get a kick out of that. You know, engineers feel 
Transportation manager from Galesburg for Amtrak. Well, what's your, what are you doing for him right here when you're standing up here? Well, I'm just observing Wally and the, how he does his job and compliance with the rules. And I just ride with everybody quite a bit. It's part of my job is just to ride with. Well, I just noticed you're calling out signals and stuff. Are you like your second pair of eyes kind of a dealer? Well. There's a rule in the in the rule book uh, we required everyone in the cab of a locomotive is required to call out uh, any signal indications so there's no confusion or misunderstanding as to what the signal means. This signal here means that we're going to cross over about well, a quarter of a mile, probably over to main two. That's what we're going to do. This, this signal here is red over green. Well, I'm going to see how it's going to the next train that's right in front of us down there. Hey, uh, Jeff? It's a Metro. We're it's switching tracks then, huh? Well, that, uh, right. Yes, we're going to switch tracks.
man down here today. But I suppose today he won't be here. Is he coming up? Yeah, usually here. He's usually right here, but he's not here today. Yeah, he's gone now. Okay, now we can go back up to 70. start out usually working past your trade. You usually have to work great night. That's just the bigger is the best job of working back to Let's hear that one again. You what? I said I always figured that being an engineer was the best working job or job a working man could have. Well I That's what I always thought. Well you still pick that? Sure. <laughs> still here. Yeah. Wally's still here too. Most of the guys that uh, Galesburg or what. Yeah. So Wally, when you get uh, when you get ready to retire and all that, are you uh, are you gonna become a plumber? No, I'm I'm uh, gonna go fishing. I gotta get me a brand new bass boat and go fishing. Get this little boat in the bottom. Yeah, we got sodas here. Really? Yeah. Soda. Yeah. In 85? Yes. My first name is Fantastic. Roberta Fantastic. Looks Kelly. like everybody's okay here with the assumption of this gentleman. What do we have here? You get it? Three. Four. Five. Hi, Bob Engineer. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Engineer. <laughs> oh. Have a great night, okay? All right. Fine. All right. Okay. All right. Was everything satisfactory for Great. Okay. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning, okay? Right here, six o'clock. Hey, I'll be looking for you. What do you think of that there whistle he's got? I love it. Sounds like the real thing. What did you think the first time you heard it? I thought it was the real yeah. thing. <laughs> what about you? Uh, same sir. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a talker, huh? Take your time. Finish, okay. ladies. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Got enough right. coffee? Awesome. Uh, oh, I've, been with, right. I've been with the railroad since 19. <laughs> so what do you guys need to pass the time? Pass the time? I mean, do you guys ever get bored riding this thing? Or? We don't have any time to pass. <laughs> <laughs> We're always busy. Busy, busy, busy. We can't tell you. You guys no, got a pull on this train or what's the deal? 
still here. Come on, here, you gotta give me my mouth full of pie. You eat four pieces of pie? <laughs> oh, don't, she lies all the time. So yeah. Cat, that's good. So it's embarrassing to catch me like this. Yeah, we did have chocolate cake on her earlier, but now it's gone because I like it so well. So what's the deal with Elliot and his whistle here? It seems to be a well, pretty popular item. Yeah, this is the first time I ever met Mr. Elliot, and I, I really wasn't aware of where that sound was coming from until about five minutes ago. So I don't know what the deal is with him. I just turned around, saw him with a horn and the big camera right by his face, and then I knew where it was coming from. <laughs> Everybody sure looks when they hear that thing. Yeah, it kind of catches your attention. Does everybody, okay. all the different crews, somebody seems to have some kind of little gimmick, don't they? Um, no, I, no, some I people do. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I do. You've been on, you've been on this route since when? Well, I've been, I started with the railroad in 1973 with uh, SP, and then in 1975 we signed over with uh, Amtrak. So you've been on the California Zephyr for 20 years? Correct. Correct. This is my my regular route. <laughs> California, here we come, huh? Yeah, you know it. San Francisco. The fish today is what we call baked salmon. The chef special is prime rib, very tender. The vegetarian plate today is spinach lasagna, and we have New York steaks. And we also have a child's plate, and we're going to call it chicken nuggets for the children's 12 and under. How many people you got on a normal uh, on a normal shift for? You got three shifts for. Well, dinner? Gen right. We generally serve between 200 250 passes a meal per meal. So all together that adds up to. We're talking for three days. We feed about three days. We feel about 750 round trip. Maybe 1500 people. Yeah. And what's your normal shift? How many days? Well, we work six days and off seven. That's correct. Six days of railroad and seven days of rest. You know, you're talking oh, you're salmon. Still here? And uh, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? We have a wonderful chef downstairs. I was going to invite you guys to go to the kitchen a little later. But then we changed our mind. And yeah. we changed our mind because. Yeah. Whose food is that? Oh, please. You're not going to film me eating all this. This is Kathy speaking. This is just my uh, first course. Didn't you have oh, I, I don't mean to. Am I interfering with this? Can oh. we help you, sir? Well, I guess I can tell you what we got on the menu today. Today's chicken is what we call chicken cordon bleu. Stuffed with cheese and ham. The fish today is baked salmon. Chef special today is prime rib, very tender. The vegetarian plate today is spinach lasagna. And we do have New York steaks, okay? Choo choo! Woo woo! You're a celebrity out there with that. Right, they like that whistle. <laughs> Passes the time away and it makes the people bring back memories of our railroad.